The power of one is indisputable, but the power of Rotarians is extraordinary. Within this past Rotary year, District 7170 has made a difference in the lives of people around the world and here in our own communities. With the help of district, community, and international grants and global grants, we have bettered the lives of many, have contributed to their well-being, and given them hope for the future. Twelve district grants were awarded in 2013-14 to various clubs in our district through the Rotary Foundation's new grant management program. $19,480 was available to be dispersed, and a committee of past district governors, the district secretary, district treasurer, and two members at large took on the task of dividing this money among the applicants. Ten community grants and two international grants were awarded. Each club that applied had to send a member of their club to a grant management seminar, had to sign a memo of understanding that required the club to follow specific steps involving finances, and had to have a $30 per capita giving to the annual fund. The Grants Committee was pleased to issue the following grants. 74 orphans no longer sleep on the ground in Liberia, West Africa, thanks to the $5,000 District International Grant initiated by the Bainbridge Rotary Club. In cooperation with Orphan Cry International and the Marovria Rotary Club, materials were purchased and bunk beds built. Mattresses and pillows were also purchased. The project involved a positive promotion of Rotary International and its ability to successfully implement humanitarian projects in this region of the world. The Binghamton Club was awarded two community grants. $1,900 was used to purchase 400 blizzard boxes for Broome County's Meals on Wheels. These boxes consisted of non-perishable food items and were distributed to people who might not have food delivered in the event of bad weather. The grant also purchased new baskets that made it easier for volunteers to bring food from their car to a house, as well as five racks used to store and transport hot boxes and coolers. The second grant awarded to Binghamton was $2,500 which was used to establish the State Street Park Community Garden on the north side of Binghamton. This is a parcel of land that is managed and developed by community members and produces food crops for personal consumption. Members from the Binghamton Noon Club help build the raised beds and fill them with dirt and compost. They also attended the planning meetings Tompkins Cortland Community College Global Office and Study Abroad Nursing Program partnered with the Cortland Rotary Club and were able to deliver much needed equipment to a growing but very undersupplied neonatal intensive care unit in Puerto Cabezas, Nicaragua. A $2,000 international grant bought supplies to support premature infants transition into life. The Cortland Club helped organize a cabaret for Nicaragua fundraising event, which added another $1,000 to the grant. Materials for the new Lime Hollow Nature Center's outdoor amphitheater in Cortland were purchased in part by a $1,500 community grant. Members of the Cortland Rotary Club, the Cortland Breakfast Rotary Club, and the Dryden Rotary Club donated skilled and unskilled labor including architectural pro bono work to the project. A lonely cat named Izzy lived in a local library, and one day she sets out on an adventure and discovers Groton, Groton, New York, that is. She stops at the Groton Bank, discovers a bird sanctuary, enjoys a dish of ice cream, and even types a letter on an old Smith Corona typewriter. All this is found in a book entitled Izzy's Groton Adventure. The book was composed by Rotarians Janet Watkins and Jean Morey. With the help of a $2,050 district grant, the book was published 
and sent to the classrooms at Groton Elementary School. One dollar from the sale of the books was given to Polio Plus. A safe place to store historic artifacts alongside slate blackboards and old iron coat racks. Portraits of presidents, a 48-star U.S. flag, and varieties of other historical artifacts was needed in the Rock Valley one-room schoolhouse in Hancock, New York. With the help of a $500 community grant, bookcases and cabinets were purchased and installed. Fifteen members of the Hancock Rotary attended the initial meeting and the project appeared in the schoolhouse news and local paper. Tools were needed to help build and rehabilitate homes for underprivileged families. Under the guidance of Habitat for Humanity, these tools were purchased with a $1,000 community grant initiated by the Hillcrest Rotary Club. In addition, seven members of the club power washed homes, mowed and raked lawns, built shelvings to store supplies, grouted a bathroom, and tiled a kitchen floor. Disease prevention is in everyone's hands. As part of Ithaca's rotary attempt to create greater public awareness and the implementation of hand washing as a disease prevention tool for children, a district community grant for $500 was awarded to the Ithaca Rotary to cover in part printing costs for the project. Thirteen public and private schools continue to benefit from the initiative. A small club of seven Rotarians in Johnson City requested financial assistance from the district to purchase percussion instruments and basketball uniforms for an after-school youth program. The George F. Johnson Dream Center works with at-risk youngsters and strives to empower them to make their lives better. With the $570 community grant, they were able to purchase uniforms and instruments and continue their important work. The grant received kudos from many in the village and helped strengthen the program. The Court Street Bridge Gateway Gardens in Owego, New York were severely damaged by the 2011 flood. With an, a $1,500 community grant, 18 volunteers from the Owego Rotary Club, master gardeners from the Cornell Cooperative Extension, and help from the village, the Owego River Walk Veterans Memorial Garden and the Gateway Garden have been restored and are presently a rich, colorful array of flowers and trees, a place in which their community can be proud. $4,760 was awarded to the Unadilla Rotary Club for its laptops to Lesotho Project in Lesotho, Africa. Laptops are provided to children, giving them a way to communicate with people around the world and allowing them to see beyond the remote villages. They help the students think critically and solve problems in their communities. The international grant will subsidize teachers' expenses as well as equipment and technical support. Two years ago, Rotary International implemented a new grant management process that included global grants. These grants must have a budget of over $30,000 and were to be initiated in the host country. District designated funds and club donations are used for the projects and are matched by the Rotary Foundation. To date, our district has partnered with District 2440 in Turkey to purchase an electroencephalographic device, an EGG machine that detects epilepsy in children for the Children's Hospital. Our district contributed $5,000 and cast contributions came from Cortland, Ithaca, Binghamton, Owego, and Trumansburg. Presently, Ben Curtis from Trumansburg Rotary and Bob Ross, our grant committee chair, are working on a global grant to establish clean water wells in Nepal. There are also the projects to continue under the old matching grant process. Through the tireless efforts of Doug Armstrong and the Ithaca Sunrise Club, a language lab was set up in Oval, Chile. A daycare center was furnished in Sierra Madre, Mexico, with the help of the Hancock Club 
and initiated by Mike O'Brien. Under the matching grant process, District Designated Funds DDF, were used to build water wells in Uganda and purchase sewing machines in Maheshwar, India. Sherburn, Binghamton, and Owego also contributed to that project that bring women and children out of poverty by teaching them a trade. And then, with district and club funding from the Cortland Rotary Club, we help provide agricultural improvements, coffee bean processing equipment, and equipment for a community multi-purpose room for the Zua Foundation in Sesamia, Colombia. With the initiative of the past Rotary International Director, Bill Cadwallader, our district is currently supporting six projects in Venezuela, Mexico, and Colombia that strive to educate young people about the effects of adolescent pregnancy and to test them for HIV AIDS virus. Also in the works is a television series that will reach thousands of young people and their families about the effect of early pregnancies and to encourage them to be tested for the AIDS virus. Our district 7170 is definitely doing good in the world and within our communities. Your generosity towards the foundation and its annual fund is making this happen. Thank you.